Hi everyone, my name is Lish and this is my first ever Dollar Tree slash 99 cent store haul and I'm so excited to be sharing you uh, some of the cute items that I found at the 99 cent store and Dollar Tree. So first off, I wanted to mention that I found some really cute mermaid and unicorn finds both at the Dollar Tree and 99 cent store. Um, before I get into that though, I wanted to share some other little items that I found at the Dollar Tree. And um, these items I'm actually going to be donating. Um, I'm part of a mom's group and um, we are donating some items to some little girls in India. And um, these are going to be part of what we're calling blessing bags. And they asked us that we bring them little items that um, would be useful um, to a little girl and uh, in India. and. So these are some of the items that I found that I'm going to be donating and I was really excited to find all these items at the Dollar Tree. I'm really cute and I'm really hoping that they're going to bless a uh, little girl. So the first thing I found is a practical item and it's just this toothbrush and uh, toothpaste set and it comes with the Crest Complete Whitening Scope toothpaste which is actually the toothpaste that I use and <laughs> so I thought that was a really good find and it just this was just at the front where you're going to check out and the, so I just grabbed it real quick I thought that as soon as I saw it I thought that would be a good item to give and I thought I liked that it was a pink toothbrush and it's just compact and I thought that would be a really good um, thing to give so I hope that is a blessing to someone over there and the next thing I found was these cute socks and it says um, kids size of seven through two um, they're kind of big but I mean they're socks I mean they probably fit me uh, but I hopefully they would fit um, a little girl too and so the first print was these pineapple this pineapple print with this pretty mint green color and the next is just this white pair, which you always got to have a good white pair of socks. And then the next is this pretty color that reminded me just of spring and Easter time. Uh, I know Easter has passed, but it just reminded me of Easter for some reason. But I thought the colors were really cute together, and I thought that was a really fun um, item to be putting in there. And then the next thing I found was this frozen hand sanitizer. And hand sanitizer was one of the specific items that they asked for, so I thought to find this really cute frozen one. And it's purple, and it says it's fruit punch scented hand sanitizer, and it's also a keychain. Like that is so fun. I love hand sanitizer. Probably way too much. Um, I want to get one for myself. One of these are so cute. They also had um, princess, and I think they had like Avengers, and just all different kinds of characters. So I thought that was really fun. And then. The next thing is this cute um, headband set, and it has a lime green color and um, some fruits. And I thought this was really cute for a little girl, and it's a nice, um, like soft, almost like foamy material, but I feel like it'd be really comfortable, and it's just really fun. I thought, and I thought that would be really cute, something to put in there. And then um, the last item for um, what I'm donating is this little um, bracelet and it's got these cute pineapples on it. I just thought this was so cute. They had a bunch of other patterns too that I thought since the other stuff I bought was kind of fruit themed somehow. I just got all the fruit stuff so I'm a sucker for the fruit and um, I can open it. Okay then you just you know decent size and I thought it'd be cute because you could also put some of the other items inside it like you could stick this in there and Nate, once you take the toothbrush out of the packaging, it probably would fit in here too. So I just thought for um, a little girl to have her own little purse to keep her things in, I thought that was just really cute. So I hope that um, they would like this. And then the next thing before I get into the unicorn and mermaid items I found um, is something I want to use for a DIY project actually. And there are these stickers that are just the alphabet. And on the example here, it says that you could write some anything you want. Um, this one says you brought love. I'm, I want to do something like that too. And I bought two of the packages because they actually don't have, they have some of the letters have multiples, like they have um, like A, A, but then other ones like there's just one G. So I thought I'd get multiples to make sure I have enough letters. Um, for whatever I'm going to write. I'm not sure what I'm going to spell out yet, but I actually wanted to get put, I bought this frame as well, and it's uh, 11 by 14, and I think I'm going to paint this frame, um, probably like a like teal color, and um, 
put some cute like, scrapbook paper or something, even like a cute wrapping paper behind it. I really like reusing wrapping paper for things that you would normally um, use them for just for decoration. Um, I used it as like backdrop, that kind of thing before, so I'm a big fan of using wrapping paper as um, other than for wrapping gifts. So I might try to find something cute like that because um, I think that might work because um, for a scrapbook, I don't know how big I could find a cute scrapbook page. I know that some of them do come pretty big, but I don't want to have to cut it separately. So anyways, I might use wrapping paper, I might use scrapbook paper, whatever I find. Put it behind here and then use the letters on the scrapbook paper and then write whatever I want to write and put it in this frame. I think that'd be really cute. And so I just need to find some kind of cute saying to put. And I don't even know if I mentioned what I'm using it for. Um, Maybe I did. I'm using it for my daughter's playroom, so something like related to that plane or uh, something like that. I'm gonna use right there and um, right on the in the frame. And so I just need to look. I know like Hobby Lobby, Home Goods have some really cute stuff, cute signs with sayings on them. So I just need to probably find something like that and then copy whatever they say <laughs> and write it on my own uh, my own DIY project. So. The next thing, getting into play, the playroom stuff, is that's what I found, um, the unicorns and mermaid things that I found. I found them to use in uh, my play daughter's playroom. So, the couple things that I found, the first one's from the Dollar Tree, and it's this cute sign um, that says, Be Unique, and it has this really cute galaxy print behind it, and it's got this pop-out detail, and I thought that was so cute for a dollar. There's only one of them at my Dollar Tree, and so I just picked it up real quick, and I don't think I've seen them at any other Dollar Tree than the one I found it at. And um, also, um, it has the little um, hardware to hook it, uh, to hang it up easy, and so I thought that was really cool for just a dollar, and that is amazing. I hope they come out with more things like this, because... I would buy them all. Like, I don't think they have a mer mermaid one. I think, no, they have another unicorn one. Um, but if, if I found a mermaid one or something like that, I would definitely buy it. And then the next two things I found are from my nice scent store. And there are these cute signs. And this one says, today I am a mermaid, tomorrow I will be a unicorn. And it has this really awesome glitter detail. And the colors are just popping out. I just love this. And the, with the colors of our playroom, it just comes up so perfect. And so I'm going to put that in there. And then I found another sign at the 99 cent store. And these were 99 cents. Uh, some of their items are, you know, 1.99 and up. But these were 99 cents. And this one says Mermaid Wishes and Unicorn Dreams. I thought that was so cute. And I'm definitely going to use it for the playroom. And I think that will be a really fun accent piece to put there. And then the last unicorn item I found is isn't for the player but it's actually for myself <laughs> and it's this cute little jewelry tray and they have them in unicorns and mermaids i only got the unicorn one in this copper rose goldy color to me it's more of a copper uh, than rose gold but i lean more towards gold so i got this one instead of the silver i only got this one because i don't think I would use the other ones and um, it's just really cute and it's perfect for what I needed for I don't wear that much jewelry and, and nothing definitely not anything chunky or anything like that I usually wear simple necklace like this or and my wedding ring so that's usually that's just what I need it for and that's for my ring I just put it on here and then any little necklace you just can put it down here and it fits perfectly I mean if you had more you could probably just buy like a couple of these and have them but I thought this was so cute you could even use it just as a decoration um I am obsessed with unicorns I am on that band bandwagon for sure um if it has a unicorn on it I'm gonna buy it probably or I'm gonna want to buy it I can't buy all the unicorn things but I would love to and then the next thing I got from the Dollar Tree is this um the LA Colors highlight and this one is in Moonbeam and I kind of tested them out on my hand um, earlier, and they're kind of already fading, and it wasn't that long ago. Um, the This white one, I don't, I didn't really like it that much. It's pretty chunky glitter, and that will tend to fade away more. Um, it doesn't, the, whatever, like, powder is behind it, it doesn't stay that well. Um, but I use this one, which is probably my favorite 
and it's just like a light gold and it has the applicator like if you're gonna use it as an eyeshadow so you can even use this as you know inner corner highlight brow bone highlight um but i, I want to try it on my cheekbones see how that works i mean for a dollar and um i think that's really good deal of course and there's different colors as well um but this was the only one that i got i thought it would go better best with my skin tone and it just looks like the does i every eyeshadow I have probably as close to these kind of colors because that's just what I gravitate towards, just like your copper, golden, brown colors. So, uh, yeah, so this one was cute to me, and that's why I just picked this one up. And then the last few items are some uh, DIYs that I've done with Dollar Tree and 99 Cent Store um, items that I found recently. And uh, I probably should mention before that um, I've, this is kind of a collective haul. I've, separate trips that I've gotten all these items, but um, all pretty recent. And so this first one is this um, succulent arrangement that I did with Dollar Tree and 99 cent store items. This little vase is from the 99 cent store. I think it's so cute. And then the succulent picks are from the Dollar Tree. And my favorite one is this one, which is the fuzzy. It's got that fuzzy feel to it. And I think there's only like one of them when I went, so I had to grab it. And then this one, I really like these. And they came actually in a three pack, but um, <laughs> three pack. And um, but I only, but the one I found only had two. Um, one of them was missing, so I just grabbed it anyways. I thought it was cute, but they're supposed to come in a three pack. Um, so I like to find one in a three pack if I could, but. Since then, I've only seen, I haven't seen them back, the succulent picks, but I did, I grabbed like all the ones that I could find pretty much, and I put them in here, and I really like it, how it turned out. And then the next item I found was this at the 99 cent store, this tray, and these little tins, and um, these um, grass balls also came from the 99 cent store, so I, the tray and the tins are separate, and then I bought or the tray and the tins come together as one. They're one ninety nine for the tray and tin set, and then the grass balls are I did buy separately. They're ninety nine cents each, and then these flowers are some flowers I already had from the Dollar Tree, so I wanted to put that in there. You could also just do the grass balls all in the three um, containers. I think that'd look really cute too. I just wanted to add a pop of floral in there, and I think for one ninety nine, that is such a great deal um, for. The 99 cent store because if you were at the Dollar Tree, I think you would buy all these items separate and uh, with the tray and the tins, and it'd be more than 199. So I thought that was a really good deal. And then the last item is another little DIY I did, which was super like low key DIY because I really didn't do much at all. But um, this is a tin that I can or container base got I got from the 99 cent store for 99 cents. And I did get two of these. And the flowers I already have from the Dollar Tree, I just cut them to fit in this um, container. And I just really love this um, container. It's kind of like a faux galvanized container for 99 cents. That is such a good deal. And I, excuse me. And I think I would um, probably want to get some more and see what other kind of flowers I can put in here if I can find any more of these. But I did get two. And for 99 cents, it's such a good deal. And there's so much you could do with these. Um, this is just super easy. That was like, like I said, like low-key DIY that I did. Um, I already had these flowers. I was already using them in the same spot, just a different Dollar Tree base. So yeah, these were at 99 cent store. And um, yeah, I they probably have them in like the spring garden section. I think that's where I found them. So that is it for my 99 cents and Dollar Tree haul. And thank you so much for staying through to the end if you watched, if you are at this point, thank you so much. And um, I just wanted to end this video with stating something that I am thankful for. And if you want to leave in the comments something that you're thankful for, um, that would be great. I'd love to read that. And so something I'm thankful for is my family and uh, they're just one of the biggest blessings in my life, and I don't know what I'd do without their love and support. And um, 
might sound cheesy, like, of course you're thankful for your family, but I'm just really thankful for my family. Um, like I said, they're one of the biggest blessings in my life, and so that is what I'm thankful for, so I'd love to see what you are thankful for. All right, thank you for watching. Bye!